home decked out for the celebration. If not, there is still time to bring out that red, white, and blue. Vanessa, uh, say it for me. Samura. Samura, yes, is here now with some patriotic party ideas. Yeah, she's the craft editor at Country Woman Magazine, where you can find all of these simple and affordable upcycled projects in their latest issue. First, explain what is upcycled. A lot of people haven't heard that term. Upcycled, so basically you're using something you already have and reusing it. Okay. So, for example, these cans, you can find them in your recycle bin. All we did was uh, wash them out, dry them, and we glued some fabric to them. I love that yeah. idea. So and I think it's such a great thing to teach kids. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so let's start over here with some of your mm -hmm. ideas. And all of these things, people can find the how-to, the, the how-to guide mm -hmm. in this issue. Yeah, at countrywomanmagazine.com. Okay, so yes. online, countrywomanmagazine.com. Let's start with this beautiful wreath that you have. Yeah, so this, this is, is great. Isn't this great? This is a fabric wreath that you can make with your fabric scraps. Okay. And we've just pinned it to uh, a styrofoam form. Oh, so maybe turn it and around yeah, so people so can see the back of it. Okay, so yep. it's just one of these things you can probably buy for, what, a buck but, or two? Yeah, about $3, I think. About $3 store. at a craft store or discount yeah. store. Okay. Yeah. So then you just took um, red, white, and blue fabric. Yeah, so check your fabric stash to How see if you've got How long should these? the strips be for They're something about, like that? about, I believe, four inches. Okay. About four inches by one and a half inches for this guy here. And Perfect so you pin them with, idea. like, stick pins? Yeah, you just push in the stick pin, and it kind of projects like this, and just keep going around the form, and you've got this beautiful wreath. And it looks like you cut it with one of those pinking shears. Yeah, yeah. scissors that gives you a little texture, which cute. is cool. Yeah. Love that. These cans, as you mentioned, so cute. These you could use that for silverware, too. Exactly. Silverware, napkins, um, makes a great centerpiece for your party. I yeah. love that. So that's, again, just fabric. Did you hot glue that? Nope, that is just regular tacky glue. Okay, yeah. okay, that's really Super cool. Cute. I like that. Yeah. The yeah. flip-flops. Aren't those fun? I am <laughs> loving this idea. Yeah. Okay, I don't think people, if you're, if you're looking at it on television, you can probably guess what these are, but they're balloons. Yeah. Okay, it looks like you just tied them around the, the plastic strip that's on it, a flip-flop. Exactly, and these are small water balloons. You wanna make sure you stick with the small water balloons. Okay, I'm gonna try one yeah. here. I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna try um, putting one of the balloons on here to add to it. So if you have it here, you would just take your balloon like this, right? right. And you tie a knot in it? Yep, tie it in a square knot. Okay. So just, you know, the basic knot that you use when you're tying your shoelaces. Oh, Perfect. that's so cool. Yeah. So you can and put a knot in that after that, yep. right? Oh, look at that. And then that's just, so cool. Yeah. So cute. That is really cute. I you love that. You know some kid's going to fill some of them up partially and then do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How about this in front? Is this something that you so bought or made? We made this. Yeah. It's a uh, bunting flag, and we just used paper. We have the pattern for this at countrywomanmagazine.com. Okay. And we just um, glued it onto some yarn. Love yes, that. Really so cute. Easy. Hang it right up over the door. When I was just going to say, in a door table. frame. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, this looks like something kids would have fun doing. Yes. Talk us through how, to, how you did this. This is really easy, and you guys can make this right now. Um, all you're going to do oh, is yeah. take some oh, cool. clear uh, containers, okay. bases, uh, clear jars, and you're okay. just going to layer the sand. So okay, so you just pour it in there? That's all you do. Super okay. easy. Yeah. Oh, I love There's this. There's blue. So, and what would you use this for once it's done? Just for decoration? For or? decorations, you can do, um, you can stick pinwheels in there, flags, or these little votive candles are great for these, oh, uh, yeah. these small containers Oh, that's cool. Here. Okay, I could kind of level that out like that. Yeah. Well, that's fun. So, you could use gla old glasses, anything. Mason jars. Yeah, it, really, any clear glass will work for this one. Okay, so then here's our tea light candle, so you can yeah. just kind of place it in there then. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that. I should have put a little bit more blue in the bottom. Oh, look at yours, Tiff. Woo -woo. I love that one. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Very cute. That's good. And yeah. these, you can use different size jars too. Like these are more like, you, it, they look like single um, flower vases or you could use something bigger, smaller, whatever you have. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. That's really fun. Love that. Easy, fun, crafts. Um, you know, all these ideas, I think, are so wonderful. Do you think anybody can do them? And are most of them, they seem like they'd be inexpensive. They are very inexpensive. You know, these are dollar store flip-flops. Mm -hmm. um, kids love doing these crafts. Um, the only thing we recommend for these working with balloons is that kids should be about age nine or over. They need uh, a little parental. So they don't chew on them. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. But most of these things are going to be really fun to do with your kids. And really inexpensive, too. That's what I, I, I like about so many of the things that you did is that, you know, you can have fun shopping for a couple pieces of fabric and, like, the styrofoam uh, ring. Or you have some recycled cans um, from your bin that you just can, can pick out some fun fabric. Exactly. So most of these things you're going to have laying around your house. And if you don't, maybe spend 
five dollars at the craft store. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're set. Another thing that's um, in the online issue is printable drink tags too, right? That's right. So we have that. Uh, that's a great way to uh, label your guest drinks. So you don't get confused um, about who's drinking what. And uh, that's also a fun uh, craft. You can download those at countrywomanmagazine.com as well. And what are they like? What are the tags like? Um, they are festive red, white, and blue tags that you just handwrite your guest names on there. Cute. I think that's a great idea. Adults can't remember where they set their glass down <laughs> or sometimes. Who's or who is this? Yeah. Who's. But with kids, I feel like you end up going through so much more, um, mm -hmm. whether it's paper or something that you have in your kitchen that you can even wash. You go through so much more if kids can't keep track of which one is right. theirs. Because they're in and out of the house kind yeah. of thing that's fun to keep track of. It. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so if people go online to countrywomanmagazine.com, they that's can right. find out how to make the wreath, how how to do the cans, how to do these fun flip flops with balloons, and then how to layer the sand and make um, a, a candle holder or something else for pinwheels. Again, it's countrywomanmagazine.com. Some fun stuff to do for 4th of July, maybe during that downtime too, between the parade and the fireworks. Oh, yeah. I like that. Great Thanks, to have you here. Thank, Thank you so much. much. All right, coming up, a colorful and delicious way to celebrate your 4th of July. Yeah, looking